Welcome and thank you for choosing Portland Gastroenterology. I'm Dr. Millspa and over the course of the next few minutes, we'll cover all the information you'll need to prepare for your colonoscopy. In order to ensure a successful exam, it's important that you carefully follow all the instructions, including what to buy and when to take it. Failure to do so may result in the need for an additional procedure. You will need to purchase the following items from any pharmacy or grocery store. If you have purchased our colon prep kit, you can skip this step. Cymethicone or Gasex anti-gas tablets, either the 125 or the 180 milligram tablets. You will need two. An 8.3 ounce container of Miralax or Gavilax powder, 64 ounces of Gatorade, orange, green, or yellow preferred. Propel water, vitamin water, coconut water, or smart water. Here's an important tip. Please purchase one 10 ounce bottle of liquid magnesium citrate to use in case your prep is not going as well as expected, especially if you suffer from occasional or frequent constipation. It's inexpensive and you can always return it if you don't use it. Don't do this if you have kidney problems. Next, you will need to prepare for your colonoscopy. Seven days before your exam, you'll need to stop taking any iron supplements, including multivitamins and medications that contain iron. You will also need to stop taking any fiber supplements such as Metamucil, Citrusel, and Fiberol. Do not eat nuts, seeds, popcorn, or corn. Continue to take all other medications unless your doctor has told you not to. Please call our office if any of the following apply. You are diabetic, you are pregnant, you are on Coumadin, Warfarin, Plavix, or any other anticoagulation therapy. You have an artificial heart valve, internal cardiac defibrillator, prior history of heart valve infection, or you require antibiotics prior to medical procedures. Call if you are on dialysis or have chronic kidney disease and see a kidney specialist. On the day before your procedure, you need to switch to an all-liquid diet starting at 11 a.m. It's okay for you to eat one meal before 11 a.m., but only from the following list of foods. Boiled or poached egg, cottage cheese, yogurt without granola or fruit chunks in it, chicken, turkey, or fish without the skin, white bread or toast without butter, or plain tofu. At 11 a.m., you will begin drinking only clear liquids. Clear liquids may be taken up to three hours before your procedure. A clear liquid is one that you can see through. Do not drink anything that is red, purple, or blue, including Gatorade or other sports drinks. And remember, do not eat any solid food. Some examples of clear liquids are clear beef or chicken broth, such as bouillon cubes dissolved in water, popsicles, except for red, purple, or blue ones, coconut water, not coconut milk, strained fruit juices, such as apple or white grape juice, coffee and tea without cream or dairy products, Gatorade, soft drinks, Kool-Aid, or Jell-O. From 2 to 5 p.m., mix your 8.3 ounce bottle of Miralax or Gavilax with 64 ounces of orange, green, or yellow Gatorade, Propel water, vitamin water, or coconut water. If you prefer, you can mix the Miralax Gavilax solution one hour before and chill it in the refrigerator. Once it's mixed, drink an eight ounce glass every 10 to 20 minutes until you have drunk half of the mixture. You can set a timer if you need to. As you drink the mixture, you may feel nauseous or like you need to use the bathroom. It's a good idea to stay close to your bathroom while you drink the mixture. If you do start to feel nauseous, stop drinking the prep solution for a while until the feeling has passed. Then it's okay to resume. At this point, about two to three hours after you've started drinking the prep solution, you should start having bowel movements. Here's a tip. If you find that you have not yet started moving your bowels two to three hours after you started drinking your prep solution, please continue drinking the other half of the solution, the other 32 ounces. Four to five hours prior to your scheduled procedure, drink the remaining 32 ounces of the Miralax or Gavilax mixture eight ounces every 10 to 20 minutes until it's gone. If you had to drink the entire 64 ounces the day before because your prep was not working well, then you should take the 10 ounce bottle of magnesium citrate at this point instead. 
Stop drinking all liquids three hours before your procedure. After finishing the Miralax Gavilax mixture, take two Cymethicone or Gas-X anti-gas tablets. These tablets should be the last thing you take by mouth before your procedure, except your usual medications with a sip of water. Complete this process three hours before your scheduled procedure. Do not eat or drink anything else. Your stool should be clear and yellow. This chart will help you judge your progress. Here's a tip. Many people who have an early morning exam with us ask if they really need to wake up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to do this. The answer is no, you don't have to. If your exam is before 10 a.m., you can take all of the prep materials the day before the exam. Your prep is one of the most important parts of your colonoscopy. Without a good prep, your bowel empty and clean, your gastroenterologist will not be able to see your colon clearly. This could lead to missing a polyp or having to reschedule your colonoscopy. Here are some photos that show the difference between a good prep and a bad prep so that you can see why a prep is important. What are the risks? Colonoscopy is a standard medical procedure, but all such procedures have some risk. While these problems do not happen often, it's important to be aware of the following. Very rarely, the instrument may tear the wall of the colon, and this may require surgery. There may be an adverse drug reaction or heart or breathing complication. In rare instances, bleeding may occur, usually when tissue or polyps are removed. This may mean being admitted to the hospital for additional care, which may require a transfusion or surgery. Now you're ready for your colonoscopy. Please plan on being at Portland Gastroenterology for approximately two hours from the time that you arrive to the time that you leave and leave all of your jewelry at home. You must bring someone who will meet you inside the recovery area after your procedure and drive you home. A ride service driver or taxi driver is not acceptable. Preferably, your driver will remain in our waiting room or be available with 15 minutes notice. If you have any questions, please call our office at 773-7964. And once again, thank you for choosing Portland Gastroenterology.